Hey guys, your inner chakras. <clears throat> welcome back to the channel, guys. If you are new, you are welcome. Guess what I did today that I haven't done in a long time? I was looking at the comments. I'm proud of myself, guys. I'm proud of myself and I love reading the comments. I love reading the comments. So I'm proud of myself. But you know what else I did too? <laughs> this is my moment. I, I just love talking to y'all. But I have this thing. I be watching people get arrested online and I get caught up. And when the video's uploading, I'm watching these things. But then sometimes these videos are like 30 minutes and I'm so into it. This lady. She went to a bank, fake identification, all of this stuff, and then she tried to blame the man that dropped her off and trying to blame him. But when they looked this lady up, she has 19 different counts of doing this. So it's like, lady, this is what you do. I don't care who dropped you off. Did nobody make you go and do this? You did that on your own. Like they have 19 other instances, catching her on camera, doing all this stuff, and they finally got her. And you're going to blame the person that dropped you off? No, lady. That's what she does. These people are crazy. I don't know what happens when you get 19 counts. It's bad enough when you get one fake identity at a bank because that's an immediate felony. So does that mean she has 19 felonies? 19 felonies? They're not even going to let you out on bail because you're not good for it. She's in trouble. She's in trouble. That's all I have to say. And she's no kin to me. So I don't know, guys. But let's do some kipper, right? Kipper tells on everybody. Kipper tells on everybody. Like, I want to make a deck, guy similar to Kipper. And I may use some of the same cards or whatever, but put my own pictures on there. But I'm going to put the mother in there, the father, the sisters, friends, co-workers. Like, I want to put everybody in there. I want to put... My Kipper is probably going to have 100 cards in there. All right, guys. Let's do it. Let's do it. Kipper it is. Let's take a peek into somebody's life. Let's take a peek, a, a peek into their life, guys. Into their life. All right, guys. What's going on? Guys, and thank you for the congratulations about the Amazon thing. And it's so weird because now I'm stuck on there. Because there's, it's always a process, but I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure it out little by little. I will figure it out because that is a blessing, right? It is a blessing. All right. Holy Spirit. Let's knock on it. What's going on with the Kipper? What does the collective need to know? And hi to the men that's on my page. Woo! To the guys. Hey, now. Hey, now. You know, because it's more women than men. But I love it when, I, when a man comments and watches things. And I'm like, hey. Because they go through ish too. Men go, there are some good men out there, guys. Everybody's not bad, right? And then the good men, they actually end up with the crappy woman who takes them through some ish. It's like we all, I don't know what it is. Why can't we all just get along? Holy Spirit, and be happy, right? And be happy. Somebody's about to get a message. Maybe this is for all of you. Maybe this is the message. But somebody's about to get a message, right? I always say it's a man. The man is either sending the message or receiving the message because I look at his wrist and that's a man's hand with the suit with the suit on and you can see his um, dress shirt underneath. So somebody's about to receive a message. It could be a phone call, it could be a text, a card in the mail, anything, right? somebody's headed out on a new pathway maybe somebody's gonna reach out and say hey I'm headed out on a new pathway I'm leaving my situation or something like that oh yeah somebody's bags are packed headed on a new journey they could be leaving but the butterflies are lightening their path so I always think this is a good card it's like somebody is happy like the butterflies are guiding them to go forward you know stuff like that He's definitely in his thoughts. He's thinking about that lady right there. He could be thinking about the lady that he may be writing this message to. He's headed out on a journey. Guys, this is another Kipper. 
So we're going to clarify that kipper with this kipper. Let's just do some, some digging. I feel like digging. All right, Spirit, clarify this message here. Who's receiving, who's giving the message, and what is the message? Oh, a lady is about to receive a pleasant letter. I just saw 525, guys. So a lady is about to receive a pleasant letter, probably from that man. Spirit, clarify this pathway. Now this man is stuck. He's definitely headed out on a new path, but it looks like he has two ladies behind him. Maybe he's he's having a little, he looks stressed to be quite honest, right? He has a liquor cup or whatever in his hand. But one lady, if you look closely, one lady has the glass of wine with, and she has, yeah, she has the glass of wine, but she has wings on. And then the other lady has the bottle and she's in the white. So he could be telling this one lady here that he's leaving the situation. Maybe he's just stressed out and just having a drink, you know. Unexpected money. He may receive some unexpected money. Maybe that's allowing him to move on, to move on to this journey here. Yeah, he's definitely in his thoughts. In his thoughts came out twice. Guys, this is the same card. This one here, he's thinking about a woman. This one here, he's just kind of looking at himself in the mirror. But he's definitely in his own little thoughts, in his own little way. All right, guys, let's dig in. What's going on? What's going on with this man here? Four of Cups. He's over something. I don't know if y'all can see that, but he's over. He has his arms folded. He's sitting up under a tree. But there is a lady looking at him like, oh, you really over it? And he's like, yeah, she's trying to give him this other cup. And he's like, I don't want your damn cup. Like, I don't want your cup anymore. It's Queen of Cups in reverse. Maybe he feels like this lady doesn't love him. He feels like he chose wrong as well. Seven of Cups in reverse. He's leaving a situation. But he's thinking about another lady. What are you thinking about, sir? There's no new beginnings. So he's thinking about another lady and the one that he's with. There's no new beginnings there, right? He's following his intuition here as well. This is the high priest. In this deck, it has the high priest and the high priestess. So he's following his intuition. He's definitely frustrated. He's frustrated with the woman that he's leaving. Come on, little baby cards. He's frustrated. He feels like he chose wrong. Sometimes you don't feel like you chose wrong till it's over. He's tired of feeling left out in the cold. So whoever this man is with here, maybe he feels like this woman just doesn't love him. He's tired of feeling left out. He's moving on. The Knight of Wands energy. So he has a lot of passion in him. Could be eager to move forward as well. His heart is broken though. He has a broken heart. And he wants to be happy. So he is frustrated with this lady. But he just wants to be happy with this sun card here. He just wants to be happy. Ooh, don't flip. He's not in his shadow side anymore. So I guess he faced his fears or his traumas. This could be doing some shadow work here. Just looking back at everything and looking at what he did or what part he played in the situation as well. I don't know if he still has passion for this woman. He said there's no new beginnings, but he's in the Knight of Wands energy. But then he also has the, the Ace of Swords in reverse. So he doesn't 
quite have the clarity on the situation that he needs or wants. Holy Spirit, clarify this message here. It's the Emperor. So he's definitely making decisions for himself, standing up for himself, choosing to write this letter or email, text, or whatever he's doing. Six of Wands. Maybe he's going to reach out to this lady here and tell her I see victory with you or something like that. Holy Spirit, clarify this pleasant letter that this lady's receiving. This is the Empress. Wow. So he's coming in as the Emperor. She's the Empress. So that's who's getting the pleasant letter. Four swords. Because he's healing. I guess he's, he's healed enough to reach out. He's probably going to reach out. Holy Spirit, clarify this grief and adversity. Knight of Swords in reverse. He may feel like he jumped into a connection really, really fast without thinking. He definitely feel like he chose wrong. He got into something. And he's ending it. Two of Cups in reverse. So, this man's moving on. Spirit, clarify this unexpected money. Who's getting some money? Maybe he got a raise or something and it's allowing him to move. You know, sometimes when you whip people, your money, your money's funny and your change is strange. Unexpected money. Death card. So, I guess as soon as he's getting his money, this man is out. Death card. He's ending it. Here, clarify this death card. So I guess when he gets his money, he's out. He's not standing in his strength, though. So he's having a little hard time with it. He's fighting with himself. Yep. He know he chose wrong, but he has the Six of Swords in reverse. That could be a fear of change. He's scared. He's scared to swim away to calmer water, so he's choosing to swim with the sharks. Six of Swords in reverse. The chariots in reverse also. He's scared. He's scared to move on. Why? Why are you afraid to move on? Does she have the money? Is she leaving you? Like what? He's afraid to move on. Either that or she doesn't want him to move on. Holy Spirit, clarify this man and his thoughts. What's in his head right now? What are you thinking about, sir? He's thinking about the deception. He was deceived. He's thinking about making decisions for himself. He's thinking about his Nine of Cups and emotional fulfillment. So he is thinking about that other lady there. Maybe his person cheated on him. And she doesn't want him to leave now. Holy Spirit. Ace of Wands in reverse. She doesn't want this man to leave. But he is. He has to pay the Pentacles. He's starting over. Brand new page. Brand new book. He's feeling a little off though. He's not balanced, that's for sure. But he is coming in as the King of Wands. So he's speaking up for himself and doing what he needs to do. So I believe she cheated on him. Maybe she, yeah, maybe she cheated on him and he decided to leave and she doesn't want him to leave. Knight of Swords energy. Yeah, Ten of Wands. Could be moving on because it's just too many burdens. Just, he's just carrying all these burdens. And he may even feel like this is his karma. He feels like this is his karma. Like whatever he chose to do, he chose wrong. So he had a choice between women. And he chose wrong. It became a burden. And now he feels like this is his karma. So he may feel like this is something that he put out there on his own. Or the other woman that he's thinking about, he could have played her too. And this is karma. 
Yeah, King of Swords energy. This is a head over heart decision for him. He feels like this is his karma. He did something. Because karma, if you feel like this is your karma, that means you put something out there. And when it comes back, you feel like, oh, well, I did this to her or I did this to another person. That's basically karma. Sometimes it can come back in the same form that you put out. Or it can come back in a different form. Holy Spirit, clarify this broken heart. Three of Pentacles. His heart is broken because he wanted it to work. See, that's the thing. So he could have been with this woman who wanted it to work, but no, he went and got with this woman. It was the wrong decision to make. She cheated. Now he's moving on, and now he feels like this is his karma because he wanted this particular relationship to work. Fear to clarify these three of Pentacles. Yeah, he didn't follow his intuition. His intuition said, you better leave it alone. You better leave it alone. He didn't follow his intuition. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, and he's losing it. He's losing it all. He's losing it all. He believed this is his karma. Well, I can't say this on YouTube, but I'm going to say this on YouTube. Karma is a itch, right? <laughs> and somebody has to scratch it. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.